Hello guys and welcome to AI Sciences. Today we are going to learn a very simple machine learning model that is called linear regression, right? And we'll start with what is actually a linear regression and some theoretical aspects of linear regression, not a lot, but some theoretical aspects that are important. And then we will move on towards the practical implementation um, in Python. So get ready to learn the basic building block of machine learning that is linear regression. This is the simplest model machine learning have. So we are AI Sciences. I am Sajjad Mustafa, your instructor for today. And we have a lot of courses regarding machine learning and deep learning and artificial intelligence on our channel. Please check the link in the description. If you're willing to start your career as data scientist, you're welcome. So let's get started. <laughs> So what is linear regression? We all know that in machine learning, we actually predict values for future, right? And what is actually regression? Let's forget about linear for now. What is actually regression? Regression is a machine learning model that gives us result in a continuous, you know, in a continuous fashion. For example, if a model tells you that an email is spam or not spam, right? This is a discrete uh, you know, discrete prediction. It is clearly telling you this email is spam or not spam. On the other hand, if your machine learning model, you know, uh, if your machine learning model predicts value something like, um, if this, this, this happens, you will score, let's say 100 marks. Or if this, this, this happen, you will score 102 marks. Now this is a continuous uh, prediction. So any machine learning model that predicts values in continuous fashion, that is a regression model. And any model, any machine learning model that predicts values in a discrete format, that is, that is a classification model. So linear regression is obviously as name is suggesting it is a regression model. So now what is a linear? Linear is a line that has maximum power two, which means a straight line in, in very simple terms. Any straight line is a linear line. So now we know that um, what is linear and what is regression? Now let's dive deep into it. So let's say we have some data and this data represents that if a, students, a student studies this number of hours, which is zero number of hours, the student will get almost zero marks. I mean, that's quite clear. If student will study two hours, student will get two marks, right? And if same goes out for if student will study eight hours, um, student will get roughly 10 marks, right? So this is a, a, a rough, um, you know, data that we have, and we want to make a machine learning model that tells us that, so that if any value is not available over here, and we, we can, we will be able to get prediction for even unavailable value. For example, we have zero, two, four, let's say, we want to get result for three. If a student, uh, you know, if a student studies for three, three hours, what will be the value? Simple. We will draw a line over here and then we will go up to Y axis. So this is the value. Let's say four point, I think 4.3, 4.4, maybe 4.4. So, so, so that's very simple. Now, what's the tricky part? Tricky part is how will we learn this line? I mean, visually, the, these data points are very simple. Uh, th this is an ideal scenario for, for machine learning. We can easily draw, uh, you know, we, we can easily fix a line into it. But uh, in real world, these data points are not very simple. So how can our machine identify the line by itself? Let's try to learn it. A line, a typical line mathematically has two main things, uh, actually four things y-axis and x-axis. We are already provided with x-axis and y-axis. Mostly and conventionally, we are provided with, when we are going to predict, we are provided with x-axis and we have to predict the value of y-axis. That's convention. So we already have x, right? We already have this green value. We want to predict this y. We need m and we need c. Now, M and C are slope and y-intercept of, of the line. Now, what is y-intercept and what is, what is slope? 
wherever this line is intercepting this y axis this is called y intercept for for example this is intercepting y axis on on almost zero right so its y intercept is zero <clears throat> and it has some slope now we can fit infinitely many lines into into these points let's say we can fit this line as well just just for the sake of example now this line has a different slope i i think this very straight line will be having zero slope and i mean this line will also be very straight and wherever line is not straight it will be having some slope now we have to find two th two things y intercept and slope so we have to find m and c let's come to jupiter and i think enough of theoretical things now let's implement some machine learning things into it and and we will learn how easily we can get uh, slope and intercept so initially we are just importing some libraries and then here is some data right so let's say x represents the the age of a car and y represents the speed of car for example if a car is 5 years old its maximum speed will be 99 if a car is 7 years old its maximum speed will be 86 and so on i mean that's obvious if a car gets old its speed becomes you know lesser uh, that's just an exa uh, assumption so here in stats library we have a function that that is called linear grass so we pass x and y to it and it fits a line into it so it returns slope and intercept of the line it also you know returns some other variables we will talk about it later but mainly it we we are i mean we are worried about not worried but we are you know interested in slope and intercept so if we have slope and intercept we can draw a line so let's run it and let's just check the value of slope and intercept here let me run it and here you can see that it says slope is minus 1.7 since it is uh, you know decreasing from left to right that's why slope is in negative if it is increasing in you know from left to right it is in increasing order then slope will be positive for example uh, here you can see that i mean um, it's a it's sort of a mess let me clear it now you can see that this red line is you know increasing from left to right so its slope will be some positive number but here you can see that our line is decreasing from left to right so that's why its slope is in negative and y intercept it says it's 103 and we can clearly see that if we ex extend this line it will cut somewhere over here which is 103.1 so now we have slope we have intercept what we want to do we want to write a machine learning function that will that will return y in you know value of y that corresponds to x so we have slope right we will multiply slope with x plus intercept now what is it can you recall this this is exactly the same formula that we were discussing y equals to mx plus c x is already available right so x point will be given and you know c is your uh, c is your slope whatever c is over here that is your slope and this this intercept is your m right uh, actually actually this intercept is your c sorry and this slope is your m now now that's very clear okay so here we are creating our model actually we are we are creating a line right so we are we are mapping x on y we are getting every value of y that corresponds to x now what is x x is our age of car and we are we are sending x into this function and it will return some point right some y point that corresponds to x and that will be stored in our model that that is eventually some points on the line right and then we are just plotting x and y on the scatter plot then we are plotting a line which is our model that you can see here in blue line and then we are just assigning some labels age of car is this speed of car is that so if age of car is this then speed of car will be that okay so that's a simple thing now what if we want to get um, speed of car on age of 10 in our data set do we have it no we don't we don't have age of uh, speed of car on the age of 10 so we want to get we want to predict the speed of car on some unseen age so let's run it as i've already run, run it for you so that we can save some of our time so it tells us that 85.5 
how it is telling us that let me tell you so here is the graph right uh, the prediction graph so we want to get the the speed of car on age of 10 right this is the 10 if we extend this 10 to the line now I mean that's it's obviously not a straight line just you know estimating okay so now what is the corresponding y value to this line uh, which is you know close to 85 since lines are not very straight it will roughly be here so so this will be the value so 85.5 will be the value right so so this this is the correct speed for a car that has age of 10 years old so so that's that's how we do it that's quite simple and now you might be you know wondering that uh, it's quite a difficult and hectic task to do yes whatever you will you know do from scratch that will be a little bit of hectic task but my intention was to tell you that um, that this is something that goes inside linear regression now easy thing that's how in just one line you can implement everything that we have implemented above so here we are going to use sklearn's implementation sklearn is a machine learning library that has a lot of built-in machine learning models that you can implement so we are just importing you know numpy and then importing sklearn model which is linear regression in our case and then we are just reshaping x and y because that's the requirement of the model so we are reshaping x and y if you don't understand what these functions are doing please check out our complete course on python core python uh, for data science um, that is a complete comprehensive course by kashif murtaza you can check it out okay so we are just reshaping our xy what is xy xy is our again the same thing right and then we are passing these xy to linear regression model so what we are doing is we are fitting linear regression model on x and y x is our feature and y is our target class right and by the way can you guess what is from x and y which is our dependent class and which is our independent class can you guess let me answer it later okay so here we are we, we have just implemented everything that we have done above you know in this long code and this one line is good enough so this has learned a model and model is stored in reg which means regression and then here we are getting slope regression dot coefficient and here we are getting regression dot intercept which is y intercept and if we run it that i have I've already done it tells us that slope is 1.7 and y intercept is 103 previously if you can see that slope was minus 1.7 and y intercept was 103 exactly the same thing that we have done above manually and what sklearn is doing uh, you know sklearn is doing with with linear regression and then we are just predicting it its values so let's say we want to predict just as we have done above we, uh, that's how we predict regression reg this thing dot predict right we have to pass our pass an array to it and that's why if, let's say we we want to predict speed of car at age of 10 right that's how we, we do it so it tells us that speed of car at age of 10 it will be 85.5 again exactly the same thing okay so what if we want to predict the speed of car at multiple ages so we just have to pass let's say multiple values 30 and then let's say 15 here you can see that 85.5 um, as as long as you know the moment age is increasing it's best speed is decreasing age is 10 13 15 speed is 85 80 76 right so so it looks like that is a directly proportional but that has nothing to do with our, our machine learning thing that's just a mathematical thing so so that's all about it one more thing that i want to discuss with you guys is the following so how can we evaluate that our model is very good simple um if you test your model and your model is giving very good predictions your model is good but that is a layman term um, how can we predict mathematically how good our model is so whenever you train your model you measure your distance of original point from the line right like this 
So whatever the sub sum of these distances, you can use Euclidean distance or whatever you want, whatever the sum of these distances, this will be your, the, this will be the, the error of your model, right? So the, mo the best model is, any model which is a best is, that has minimum error. Any model that is a worse is, that has the maximum error, simple as that. Again, I will explain these error things in some of the upcoming videos. And in up this is again, a very simple model. Um, in real life, there is I think 0% of data that, that can fit into this sort of beautiful line. So you have to, you know, you have to have non-linear line like this or like that or, or something like this, right? So how, how can we do that? This is, called, by, by the way, this is called polynomial regression. So far we have done linear regression, right? Again, linear regression refers to linear, which is a straight line. There is another sort of regression that is called polynomial regression, right? This will be covered in upcoming video and uh, see you in upcoming video where we will be covering polynomial regression. Again, we are AI Sciences. Please subscribe our channel, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any video. Thank <laughs> you.